Could be any reason ranging from that might be taught later in Luke's Christology, specifically in like early church theology, or it could simply be that it may not be what he wants to include specifically for his historical thesis. Why would he not want to include his extraordinary statements? Specific, what, what extraordinary statements? Because he may, because he may want to show the historical, because he may, I don't think the term omission, again, the term, because I think, again, the term omission is being used very, like, I think the term omission is being used um, equivocally here. Again, by omission, we just mean he didn't say them. So if yeah, that's I'm wondering, all you mean, I'm wondering why none of the other Gospels, not just yeah. Luke, by the way, Matthew and Mark, that means literally any of the most amazing public statements that Jesus allegedly made contained in the four Gospels. I'm trying to find a sufficient historical reason. A sufficient why historical no reason. One else apparently knows there. about these statements. I don't think that. I think either the Johannine community no, could have known about them. Well, not could have, but they probably did know about them because it was sent to that community. Other Christian communities may have done that further on in Christian history because they may have not wanted to misunderstand what the Johannine corpus was saying by the terms bread of knife and other extraordinary statements. As we see other people literally but, but do. Luke said he'd written an orderly account of all the things that had happened. It, it doesn't say all the mind. things. What it does he say? Should we read it? What, what does he say? It just says the, an orderly yeah, account of you, the things that have been delivered. It doesn't say everything. Right. So you, you think he actually omitted to include these extraordinary I don't statements? Think, I don't think, again, like the term omission is being used properly here. I just think that he didn't talk oh, about them because he doesn't see right, them as... much as many have undertaken to compile a narrative, the things that happened among us, yeah. just as those... Well, I think it should it, it say all. It seemed good to me also, following all things closely for some time past. So he to says write that an he's orderly account for you, Theophilus, that you may have. So he's followed all the things most closely. He knows about all these. So solutions. that means that he's followed them. So but the reason why he writes, as he so says so before, why is, he is omitting that. The I am so he says here again, if you allow me to speak, he says that you may have certainly certainty, specifically concerning the things that you have been taught. Meaning yeah, exactly. that it may, it may have been that Theophilus specifically was in his catechesis stage, so he may have been catechized, and thus I am statements and things of the light will be followed on later points of exegetical work or later points of theological instruction. And what about Mark? Mark? I don't why, think why it's why the did, beginning. Mark, Mark omit these statements as well? The scholars, historians, what they think about this. So and, and biblical these, scholars if, if that... I can, if I can just finish what I'm saying before yeah, I don't. I, okay, so, so I, I think rattling off the opinion of a scholar of doesn't necessarily. In the last 100, 150 years, okay. I've concluded that the differences between that we've been discussing between the Synoptics and John is because John represents a highly developed interpretive tradition. That these statements put on the lips of Jesus are secondary. They're not okay. Historical. Do we have anything? Do we have and, and anything that, and that in is like the consensus of all the historians, including those? I, I don't think. I don't think. Yes, I know that there have been scholars in the past from Oxford, but I don't think that there. John I don't Martin, think, for example. Yeah, I, I don't. Go along with this sure, but I don't think that the argument for high or low Christology is warranted, at least in the way that I've been taught in the university. So, for example, like, and um, people like Christine Joins um, and other individuals have basically come out saying, "Look, man, this uh, argument for like high or low Christology, not only is it subjective, it's not necessarily helpful to understand the Christology." Yeah, I'm talking about the of Jesus. Of John. So yes, with a high. Yes, yes but the, uh, I'm talking Sarkis. about I'm talking about the high notion of Christology no, in different I'm gospels. I'm talking about the Gospel of John and the I am Okay, how do you? Okay. This example, is specifically because you're measuring a high Christology uh, difference. Christopher Tuckett, professor of New Testament studies at Sure, University. and that's fine. And I also uh, recommend that you read... Uh, very issue I think you, I recommend that you read some and, other and papers that have gone on the recent history of what a high Christology basically means. The point is this, the right? To argue that they highly exalted is to presuppose that he wasn't exalted in the first place. To argue that he was highly exalted presupposes that he wasn't exalted in the first place. In the early Jews, yeah, that argues that there's a tradition in the beginning. Sorry? That there's a tradition that is distinct from Johannine tradition that doesn't have any linking or bearing to it. Are we going? No, no, go, go, oh, go, yeah. go, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I want to catch this one. Oh, that there is a distinction between the tradition. So, for example, in more recent New Testament scholarship, what we... Yeah, I don't even know why it's coming oh, to... Let, let me hold. Oh, yeah, and yeah. Then we Nazem, can you uh, hold those as well? So, the reason why there seems to be a distinction... Um, well, well, some... why, uh, my question is, well, why do top Christian scholars, like Christian... Uh, Christopher How Tuckett, are you finding Tuckett? Hang on a second. Just because yeah, they're you, published... Can you let me finish a second? No, no, no. What? Let, let's define what Tuckett yeah. is. We, uh, we do uh, need to talk about that. Will you let me finish? You're not letting me talk. You're, you're saying a lot will, of will you, things will you let that we need to go through. You're saying that he's a top scholar. I will allow you to speak. I think it's fair that you should speak. Speak. But when you say that they are top scholars, do you mean that they're the most researched, or they're the most correct about their opinion, or that they've written you, the most? If you let me finish, I, right. I was so going to explain. Please explain what you mean by top scholars. Right. Well, if you let me finish uh, speaking my own words. What do you mean by top scholars? What do you mean by top scholars? Will you let me speak in my own words now? See, yeah, about what you mean by top, top scholars, scholars, which was your words. Yeah. I'm not misrepresenting you. I'm asking you. Will you, you let me speak? I'm going to. Yeah. What do you mean by top? I, I will in a second, but I want to. 
to us, so we understand. Yeah. That's a separate point, and I'll make that maybe That's in a not minute. a separate it's point. My... You included it. Ah, okay. It is you my... You said it. You're not letting me speak. Will you let me speak? I will let you scholars. speak if you can actually, you know, break down for me what top no, scholar see, is. I don't want to make your point. I want to make my point. Will you allow me to speak? Your point was that they were top scholars. Will you let me finish? If you explain what top no, no, scholars is. No, no, not if. Is. Will you let me finish? Will you let me speak for yes. scholars? Yes, provided right. that you explain what top no, scholars is. No, no, no. I'm not going to play by your rules. It's not my I'm going to play my rules. You're the telling me what I must say. I will come to that. I'll come to your question in a minute. In the meantime, Which I'm going to address my statement. voice. Yeah. Now, if you let me finish and not interrupt, will you allow me to speak and not interrupt? If you explain what top no, scholars is. No, no, not is. if. Will you allow me to speak? It's something that is relevant. I'm just going to walk away otherwise. If you're not going to allow me to speak. It's not that serious. Again, as I'm going to say. That means my, that my question to you is, I will in a minute, but you might not interrupt me. Um, I will just ask you the same question. Yeah, just yeah. please top explain scholars. what top scholar means. Yeah, yeah. Like it's we were having a nice fair. conversation, it's, it's only fair that you explain fair, it. Yeah, no, look, if you're going to use top scholar, then there must be a reason why you said that. It's not, it's not just a I would love to explain, but you won't let me. Okay, you won't ex okay, so you keep on interrupting. I'm interrupting you whilst you are about to explain specifically what top scholar means, right? Explain to us what you mean by top scholars. Yeah, well, what so, do you so we mean? can understand. I, I've said I've agreed to you after I've made what I want to say first. But I you think you're allow trying me. to I think you're trying to That's praise the these individuals that also. Anyway, I'm just gonna speak to Nazam. If, if you want to listen. My point is this. So that, you're not speaking uh, the, to me, right? The top Chris, yes I am. So as you're well. speak, you said you're gonna speak to him or speak to me. I'm confused about what you're saying with him well, over here. Just to be quiet for so a second and let me speak. That's what he's doing. Well I'm speaking to the microphone. So you're speaking to the are you speaking to me? I'm speaking to everyone. Who is everyone here? Everyone? It's just you want me one, to get two, names and addresses, do you? Names and addresses? No, I Who want are your top scholars? Stop, I just want you to stop running away from that. Who are your top scholars? Explain to us, please. Just, just what does the term mean? Uh, look, I don't really prefer to yeah, as top uh, of what Nazim, this means. Nazim, as, as, as I was saying, uh, like, like, Nazim, for example, like, uh, excuse you know, me, like, I'm Nazim, I'm talking to him. Will you speak? So am I. So oh. basically, when we anyway, refer to it's top been scholars. been a great talking to you. I was going to say, all your top scholars. Do not okay, think. Okay, what do I mean by top scholar? Think. What do you mean by top scholar? Christopher Tuckett. Which? Okay, uh, okay. Christopher okay. Tuckett. What do you mean by top scholar? He's a professor at Oxford. Great. What do you mean Another by top one. scholar? Another yeah. one. Being a professor of New Testament. What do you mean by top scholar? Let me, uh, let me, let me, let me you reply. haven't explained. Will you let me speak? Explain. About top scholar? Yes. yes. What yes. does the term will you mean? Let, yes. Will you let me finish? Yes. Thank if you explain what the term means. I'm trying to now. Will you let me speak? So you're going to say top scholar means X, right? I might. I might. Oh, you might. Oh, you might. Do you want to expand on what you're Will trying you to say? That? Yeah, expand I'll expand. So I have an issue in regarding certain predicates that you want to use to nominate these individuals as higher than other scholars. It presupposes the standard that there are better scholars well, let, let than others according let me to certain explain. opinions. Shall I explain? So now that I have explained to you, please tell me what the term top scholar means. I'm trying to, but will you yeah. let me speak? Okay, what does it mean? Anyone else objection? What does it mean? You're happy to make right. By top scholar, I mean, for example, professors of uh, New Testament studies at the University of Oxford. That's for example, Christopher. Example. Excuse me, you're. you're that, that's not a definition. That's uh, an example. Will you let me finish. Will let me finish. I, I said uh, a definition. Christopher Tuckett. Will you let me finish? You you're not letting me finish. I'm not letting uh, you finish with something that you haven't given. Right. Uh, Christopher like Tucker is one, John Barton is another. These pleas are, are highly I, regarded in the world of academia because okay, of their, so they are are their published works, Western because academia. of their published works, okay. because they are highly, re, uh, they're, they're peer reviewed by their colleagues at other universities and recognized they're to be world class authorities. So th no, they're so not authorities, my, we don't have authorities. My, my question then is, my question is, why do all of these scholars they study review John so as is, not This is a misunderstanding of what scholarship so, is. So I do thank you for your time. So that's right. Wait, hold on. You have, a misapp pleasure. you have a misapprehension of what the term scholarship means. Right. You think that when a person is a top scholar, just because they research the most. Anyway, an authority is simply... Thank you, Paul. He just went away. Thank you, Paul. There was no point in doing it. If you're going to say someone's a top scholar, even those scholars themselves wouldn't consider themselves top. They would only consider themselves that they were well researched. There's no top or bottom because, again, in Western scholarship in Christianity, there aren't necessarily authorities as there are informed academic opinions. Of course, Nazam, take very good care of yourself and have a lovely day. Anyway, so... Thank you for trying, to be honest. I mean, you tried, but anyways, look. Point is this, we don't have top scholars, okay? To those at Oxford University, of course you guys are a well-established theological institution. I've researched a lot. Yes, I get it. However, here is the point at hand. Even you guys wouldn't consider yourself better than other scholars. I mean, A, that's just prideful. 
And B, that's a disservice to the research these other scholars did as well. There isn't a better or worse, there are just more well-informed opinions and less well-informed opinions, okay? And some scholars quibble over that in the research. That's why they're paid to do it. Anyways, if you ever want to do, do this thing again, I would love to reach out to you Oxford scholars again. So yeah, take care, see any, ya. Any, any, any messages to Muslims who are not only financing Paul Williams' ministry, but also believing in his rhetoric? If you only look at, listen to an echo chamber of individuals that have like this weird view of just presupposing modern scholarship, you can either presuppose that their opinion is correct or look into how they created the opinion. I think the modern scholars would want you to look into their opinion, actually test it.